Tonight, state officials and residents alike continue to mourn the loss of a trailblazing political leader. Lieutenant Governor Sheila Oliver died Tuesday at the age of 71 after battling an undisclosed medical condition. Oliver made history as the first black woman to lead the state assembly after serving in the legislature for more than a decade and dedicating her life to public service. A senior political correspondent, David Cruz, reports, despite rising to such prominent roles, Oliver never forgot her roots. Few can understand the challenges of being a woman, let alone a woman of color, in New Jersey politics. Lieutenant Governor Sheila Oliver knew it well because she lived it, traversing the treacherous waters of Newark, East Orange, and Essex County politics, fighting the party line, winning with the party line, making friends of foes by standing on principle and projecting a dignity and passion even in political battle. Diplomacy and grit. The Newark came out, right? <laughs> she knew how to play her politics. Um, she was definitely a lady amongst all ladies, but she knew her politics. She knew how to navigate shark infested waters with grace and gravitas and was able to successfully steer a, two terms, right? As speaker and ascend to the lieutenant governor position. Sumter is just one of the many who are remembering Sheila Oliver today, the self-described Newark girl whose personal traits of generosity, empathy, and fierce determination inspired Sumter and many others to hold true to those ideals and still succeed. Republican Senator John Bramnick served in the Assembly while Oliver was Speaker during the Chris Christie years. Let me tell you, I don't think he was afraid of Steve Sweeney. I mean, they could go toe to toe, but I think uh, he would be afraid uh, of Sheila, the speaker, because uh, with her yelling, screaming, demanding or threatening was not a path to get to Sheila Oliver. But if you messed with her, as her party once did when they tried to oust her as speaker, you would meet the girl from Newark. I will never, ever engage in the kind of subversive, clandestine, black backdoor right. manipulation that is going on right now. She had a supreme confidence, born of hard knocks and a focus on service. Those who thought she was done after she left the assembly watched as she made history again as the first black woman to serve in statewide office when she was elected lieutenant governor. Ironically, David, it just has seemed as if it's a natural progression from everything I've ever done. Uh, people ask me if I'm excited. People ask me if I'm overwhelmed. It just is an extension of what I have always done. She was uh, the conscience of uh, the state of New Jersey, uh, the spirit of Essex County, uh, you know, the beloved, uh, you know, daughter of East Orange and, um, you know, and a true friend to me and so many others. The LG was coming up at a time where oftentimes she was the only one in the room. As, as um, overcome as I am with grief, I am just have a debt of gratitude for everything that she did when she was alone in those spaces or when they underestimated her value or when they asked her and required her to prove her worth over and over again. And she did so with grace, with integrity, with dignity, and then showed them all out and would drop the mic at the end of every opportunity that she had. Former Senator Republican Diane Allen faced off against Oliver in a lieutenant governor's debate back in 2021, a face-off which ended like this. And that moment at the end, I don't know, it's just because of all those years that we'd known each other, and the fact that we'd made it through the debate without uh, tearing each other apart, and I don't think either of us wanted to or were looking for that, uh, that hug just kind of happened. And um, I think it says a lot when strong women from two different backgrounds, two different parties, two different races, that we could get together nonetheless, even after that kind of, uh, kind of debate. We are measured, especially those in public life, by things we accomplish. By that metric, the former freeholder, 
Assembly Speaker and Lieutenant Governor, is a giant. Sheila Oliver was 71 years old. I'm David Cruz, NJ Spotlight News.